All right, what's going on, guys? So we're here with just a few, um, actually, uh, let's see, a trade and a few gifts here. So uh, no real pickups here, but okay, so a girl at work had a um, few Game Boy games lying around the house, and you know she's not into games at all. Uh, so you know, after a few months of them sitting by her front door, she finally remembered to bring them, and basically they were all um, first-year titles, uh, but they are hardly never played at all and they're actually hard to open just like they were when you bought uh, games for the first time and when they were new back in the day so like they're extremely hard to open up and I remember that like having a hard time with some of these so yeah they're pretty much um, it was alleyway Super Mario Land Tetris baseball and a copy of um, Castlevania Adventure which I already put in my box here uh, that was definitely an upgrade one because all these are perfect condition Alright, and she also gave me a uh, Marvel's Manual, and this thing is uh, crispy. It is, I mean, it has all four corners and everything. And I also got a uh, Mario Kart with that. Um, so. And I, oh, and uh, she also gave me, I've got a, this is my third one now. I have my two from childhood. Um, she's like, oh, it's broken. I said, oh, that's perfectly alright. You can give it to me I can use it so just the screen was off and uh, the battery cover was missing so that's all and then all right so now for the trade uh, so a fellow youtuber Hyogase Hart uh, did a trade with me he uh, mentioned that he had a couple Game Boy games uh, after seeing some videos so he told me he had uh, Godzilla and F1 race uh, I first got excited. I said, okay, you got them uh, complete in box, you know? And he's like, oh, no, they're just loose. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm really looking for, uh, you know, Game Boy boxes, too. And he says, oh, well, you know, uh, I got a copy of uh, Contra Alien Wars lying around. So I was able to get this in a uh, trade with him. I gave him, I traded him... Um, a copy of Kickmaster and it didn't have the best label condition on there and I still feel like I want to give him an extra game honestly so you might have something else coming to you um, but I it was a uh, Kickmaster and then interesting enough he did not have a copy of the first Super Mario Brothers so I threw in that and then I also threw in a copy of uh, Life Force. He gave me a list of what he had and I figured Life Force would be an extra a nice one to throw in there just to add to his collection. It was either that or uh, <laughs> a copy of World Champ with some label damage and I was like, oh, I think you'll enjoy the Life Force a little more. So, And then, you know, that was a Konami game. So. Yeah, it's a very uh, nice box, and he shared the story with me of how he got this, and uh, one of his buddies, I believe, was selling off his collection at one point or another, and, you know, basically let him uh, go through and pick a couple things, and he had got several uh, different boxes, some system boxes, and some Game Boy boxes, so, yeah, it was a, it was a real uh, neat surprise just to, to have him find this. Um, and to say, oh yeah, well I got a box too, so yeah, like I said, um, I was able to, or I was, uh, I traded, you know, Kickmaster and then Super Mario Brothers and then the copy of Life Force, so I, can't, I figured that was kind of a fair trade. You don't see this box that often, and when it does sell, you know, it's about 80 to 90 bucks, and the game, you know, is about 25, the manual is about 25. So I valued the box around 40 and Kickmaster's around 40. But, you know, I believe they'll both, this one, you know, this is obviously more rare, but there are less people wanting it. Uh, but Kickmaster, I believe, being a, uh, being a Tide Town game will just rise in value nonetheless. So, yeah, so some good trades, some good gifts. So, all right, thanks, guys, and I will see you later. Peace.